Hey guys, how's it going? Sped here. Today I've got a quick video for you, going to show you how to play the Punisher theme following my last cover. So I was supposed to record this lesson like the day after I did the cover and then I got a friggin' cold. Sounded like the Punisher for like five days. And then today I've had a really shit day, it's actually 4am now. Um, TV broke this morning in the front room so I had to buy a new one. And then when I installed that one, that one was shit. So I've reboxed that one up put the other shit TV back in and then I'm gonna have to go and get another one tomorrow and it's 4am and I've poured myself like half a pint of rum and then made this lesson so that's where we're at it's one of them days I have a competition going at the moment to win two t-shirts and I really want to announce the winner when it got to 50 likes and I think we're on like 48 so check the link below if you want to win something and go and like that video leave me a comment Anyway, that's enough of me and my shit day. You enjoy your day and this lesson, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All of the strings are in standard tuning, apart from our high E, which I've taken up to an F sharp. The first part we're going to do is thumb on the low E, index finger on the G, thumb on the D, thumb back down on the low E, and then index finger back on the G. And the pattern is this. The next pattern starts with the thumb on the low E again. This time we're going to go to our second finger on the B, index finger on the G, back down to the low E with the thumb, and then back to index finger on the G. So we just change a couple of notes. It's going to be the same rhythm as the first one. Together we've got this. After the first two, We go back to what we did the first time again before it changes at the end. So for the final part we're going to start with our thumb on the E and our second finger on the B and we're going to pinch those together. Then we're going to hit the high F sharp with our third finger. And then we're going to do the high notes again without the thumb. Okay. Next we're going to go to that same thumb and second finger pinch. The notes that follow that are index finger on the G, thumb on the D, and then index finger back on the G. Okay. After that it goes back to the first riff that I showed you. So this is what I play when it kicks in. I take my pinky on the 10th fret of the low E, my 3rd finger on the 9th fret of the D, and I prep my index finger on the 7th fret of the low E. Okay? With my fingers and my thumb over here, I'm going to start on the low E, move to the D with the thumb, and then hit the open B with the 2nd finger. After that I'm going to move back to the D with the thumb.
Okay. Then I take my pinky off and I leave that prepped first finger on the seventh fret. Uh, slightly different rhythm now, but we're still going to hit the E, D, then B. Okay. So we just sustain a little bit longer on that first bass note before moving over to the D, then the open B. And we're going to do that twice, like this. So we're going to keep that same shape on momentarily and we have another repetitive little riff which is going to go thumb, thumb, second finger and then just back to the thumb on the low E and then thumb back on the D. And you're going to do that twice. So just to recap. So we're going to go back to having our pinky on the 10th fret of the low E again. And we're going to pick exactly what we did before, but we're only going to do it once. Okay? Once we've done that, we're going to slide down to the 5th fret of the low E with our index finger, but now I like to change the third finger for our pinky on the seventh fret of the D. It's going to prep really well for the next shape. Okay, picking pattern here is going to be E, D with the thumb, B, and then back to D with the thumb again. Okay. From there, we're going to hit our thumb on the low E and slide from 5 to 7. Okay. As soon as you slid up to 7, you're going to hit the thumb on the D and then the open B. So the way you slide up is slightly sustained and then hit the D and the B. The reason we put that pinky on the 7th fret before is because we're going to now add the 2nd finger to the 7th fret of the G. Okay? So once you've slid up, played the D and then the B, you're going to go down to the low E and then we're going to pick E, G with the index finger, B with the 2nd finger back down to low E, and then D, G with the thumb and index finger, okay? So just to recap that section so you're not confused, come down to the 5th fret, swap to the 4th finger, back up to 7, add the 2nd finger to the 7th fret of the G, play that picking pattern I showed you twice. The next thing we're going to play is what I showed you first. It's just a direct repeat. And then before it goes into the break, we're going to do what I showed you second, but we're going to finish a little bit earlier. Okay, so we've got move down to the five. And then the slide back up to the 7. And when we do, you do thumb on the D, then the open B, and finish with a thumb on the 7th fret of the low E. finger-picking guitar that happens in the outro is exactly the same as what I showed you for the intro. All that stuff so you don't need to go over that again. If you want to do the lead line, I did play it on electric in my cover 
but I've just got my shotgun mic out and my acoustic, so I'm gonna bend the living hell out of this wound G string and show it you on here, okay? So we're pretty much just in the B blue scale and we're gonna start by sliding our third finger into the ninth fret of the D before moving to the seven on the G with the index and then the nine on the G with the third finger. After that, we are gonna bend up a semitone or a half step. You're gonna hit it again. Okay. Bend it up to that blues note. Flat five. And then you're gonna bend straight back up to it again. Okay. Whilst it's still bent up there, you're gonna hit it, pre-bend, and bend it down. Okay, so slide. Half step bend. Mute, let it down. Bend it up again. Play it whilst it's bent up. Let it down. Back to the seven and then back to the nine on the D. You're gonna repeat that again. And to finish, you're just gonna do the bend up again. on the B. And there you go. So you've already heard enough of me chatting absolute balls today. You don't need to hear anything else. If you liked the video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to do it again sometime soon, hit subscribe. Leave me a comment. I'm gonna finish that rum and I'm gonna to go to bed because it's now past 4 a.m. Peace, see you in the next one.